Hey, this is Jay. Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a very special surprise. We've got an entire fresh box of the upcoming Series 21 minifigures, which we're going to open um, each pack. These are the new Series 21 minifigures. Um, unlike other series, we've only got 12 minifigures in one complete set, which is... Um, is different you gotta get used to it but um you know we'll see at the end whether it's uh, a good or bad thing i think it's good because it allows lego to really concentrate on really good high quality desirable minifigures so that there's no filler in them but on on the flip side i really kind of miss having the 16 minifigures in one set and it's gonna kind of look weird when you display series 21 alongside all the other 16 um minifigure core series, numbered series um, minifigures. So let's get into it. Uh, special shout out to the LEGO Certified Stores ANZ for, um, for supporting this video, providing this box. So let's get right into it. All right, let's crack this sucker open. Pop the seals first. And just because we have to, And that's how it looks. One fresh box of Series 21 minifigures. So let's get into it. Alright, so these are a pain to open with your bare fingers. Let's take a look. Oh no, these ones again. Seriously, Lego, please do away with these manuals. Okay. I think I might have ripped those apart. Here we go. Here's the instruction manual. And over on the back, we have the checklist with the entire series 21 character lineup all 21 figures to collect and the first one we are getting the alien prisoner alien baddie this guy's pretty cool i like his um his molded head it's pretty cool i like the um I like the little printing on it. It kind of looks like a, um, kind of looks very Gordon Freeman and Half-Life-esque. It's got printing on the sides and the back. All right, one down. Oh, this is cool. Here we have the awesome Jaguar Warrior based on the Jaguar Warriors from um, Central and South America. This is so cool. Look at the print on his back and the sides of his legs. It's got a cool dual molded, molded face as well, dual sided face it's got, a, oh, it's got a happy face, very cool, I love the headdress, look at how much detail the headdress has and this printed shield with um, this Aztec motif is also cool and his weapon, look at that, the serrated ages very very cool, Let's see what we have next There's a lot of pieces, so let's assemble this guy. Ooh. Is this is the new um, Space Police. You can see the classic space logo here with a cool zip that goes diagonally across his torso. And on the back, look at that. You've got a police word printed there. Very, 
very cool. Oh, wow. Okay. I am loving this guy. Let's pop his um, visor on. He's got a very, very angry face and also a happy face. Happy police, good cop, bad cop, or oh, good space cop. The red visor is very cool, uh, a huge throwback to the uh, vintage Space Police and look at that classic space logo printed on his armor piece. I like the gold, um, the gold print, it looks very very cool. And here's his riot shield, what kind of... I need to see how to assemble his... Gun? Baton? Oh, okay. Alright. So, on the back, you clip... It's got a little baton here. And here is his right shield, which has police printed on it. It's kind of cool because you can reuse this for other minifigures. It doesn't have anything apart from the classic space logo on his torso that screams space. Um, but this guy is packing a lot of heat. Here the spares that you get. Spare lightsaber, spare visor, uh, bulb and a pair of handcuffs. Next. Cool, all right. And here we have our Centaur Warrior. This is the the new cent um well not new, the Centaur leg piece that we first got in the Harry Potter um Centaur set, I think the one with the uh with Grob or the giant. Here's a lady. The quiver. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh no, maybe the quiver goes on the side. The quiver doesn't go on the centaur. That's handy. It's got a longbow. And and an arrow. Sorry, not arrow, an apple. Details, again, very nice. Um, if you're a big fan of fantasy Lego sets, I think um, you know having an easily accessible, very cheap centaur piece is going to be a godsend for people who want to build an entire centaur army. Very cool. It's got a dual-sided head as well. But this quiver keeps popping off. Which is slightly annoying, but very cool, very cool. For a collectible minifigure, can't complain, can't complain. Okay, we have another space criminal, space Gordon Freeman, alien. It's got to be a Gordon Freeman reference because of the crowbar. Um, if only they had made it red. Another space police... Space right police guy. Okay, it's going to be a happy cop.
and we have another Centaur Warrior. I think there are three complete sets in each box, but we will find out once we're done with this box. Again, not complaining because this is an awesome minifigure and I could do it a million of them. Another Space Police. Hopefully this will be our last and final one. Wow, okay. Another Space Police. I'm not sure about the exact positioning of each minifigure. I think some people track that, but lots of repeats early on, which is not great for this video, so... Let's set this guy up. This is one of my most anticipated minifigures from series 21. We get a beekeeper. Look at his mustache, very respectable mustache. And he's also licking his lips. That is a hilarious facial expression. Um, Ooh, very cool. His... We can assemble his... Um, bee spray. Put the bees to sleep. Um, you can see on his torso there's some leaky bits of honey and a hexagon logo on his chest and here's the back. But what's really cool is his helmet. If you can see here, it's got a translucent visor. Not sure you can see here, but it does a really good job of making it look like the beekeeper's um, helmet, you know, mesh, the mesh kind. It's really cool. I never knew that Lego, um, you know, does translucent, like dark translucent um, visors like these. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more of them. Here is the awesome new honeycomb tile with two bees on them. Very cool. I think people who are into beekeeping are going to be delighted that they finally have a legitimate beekeeper minifigure. Up next, we have a paddle border slash dolphin trainer. I'm not sure. Oh, cool. She comes with a blue life jacket as well. Look at the, again, the print on the torso is great. Um, it screams out para paradise, paradisa, paradisa to me. Very cool. Look at the back. So you can pop the life jacket on. Here is her face. Wow, a lot of them have dual-sided faces this time. Very cool. One with glasses on and one with a very happy face. Um, she's got a new hit, hit gear cap on with the hair fused on it. Here's a look at the the new surfboard, which has uh, printing on it. Lots of printing, which is which is cool. Right, next, we have another repeat. Uh, not sure about you, but this this whole box sequence um, is pretty interesting because it looks like a lot of the minifigures are clumped.
yeah, these minifigures are clumping together for sure. Forgot to show off the dolphin. This is a non-friends dolphin, which is cool. Doesn't look like, you know, doesn't have eyelashes. Um, and again, having a dolphin in a reasonably affordable um, minifigure series is great for people who want to collect you know, new marine animals. It's a big plus. Lego have been very generous. All right, we have a new character and we have the violinist or sorry violinist cello player violinist comes with wands for his um what do you call them okay here's a look at the new violin piece it is very very cool highly detailed A great, um, a great classic. Ooh, oops, classic space nod here is that he has a shirt with Blacktron, two logos on the inside. So this guy loves his classics. Get it? He has an alternate face here, which is you know he's got his eyes closed. He's clearly in the zone, and wow, look at that. Very cool. Like the effect, you can have him pose playing the violin. Very cool. Violin is a great new accessory. And we have our next dolphin trainer. Some of these uh, inner bags sometimes get stuck to the blind bags, which is a bit annoying. So be careful as you open them. Another beekeeper. Again, as you can see from the minifigures so far, it seems that they're all clumping together, which could be useful because some people like to, you know, obviously just collect an army build a whole bunch of them. Very cool. Here you go. But oh, one, one, one thing I forgot to mention, the... The glass, uh, the cup, the mug is in a, um, it's got a silvery sheen to it, um, almost gunmetal. Like, I'm not sure if they've produced mugs in this color before. I think it's new, but that's very cool. Oh, cool. We have the girl... Pilot. This is the new uh, plane piece. It's very, very interesting. It's a, it's a big piece of plastic. Very, very unique. I can't um, can't imagine what you'd use them for. But you pop them in between her legs like this, and she has a plane suit. You can see on her torso, um, she's got cool prints on them. I'm not sure what they mean. The pilot. Wing symbol could be a reference to you know all the city sets. I'm not 100% sure, and you can see on the back of her um, torso there is a propeller. She comes with um, a dual-sided face. One here. She's got a scratch on that, so she clearly enjoys or doesn't mind getting, you know, rough and tumbled. And on the back, she has a really cheery face here. She has a, a hair piece as well for options, but she also comes with a pilot helmet for soaring 
into the skies. And the aeroplane piece has a little hole where you pop the propeller in. And voila! Very cool. I think it she will look very very cool next to the race car guy from is it series 18? Can't remember. Next up, another Violin Boy. becoming quite predictable and we have another plain girl okay with this version I think I'm gonna give her uh, her hair piece mm -hmm. very cool all right let's see what we get next Oh, very cool. We have the ladybug, ladybird, ladybug girl. You can see a torso. She's got little spots, red spots. Shame there's no spots on the back, but that's okay because she has these new wings. It's a, oh, it's a very interesting piece. But you pop on the neck and pop on her face. She's got such a cheery face with two dots, two red dots on her cheek and on the back as well. She has a dual sided face. The headpiece is quite similar to Bumblebee Girl. So red with black antenna. And she comes with a little leaf piece which has a Ladybird, ladybug printed tile. And as a bonus, you get two, which is super cute, very cute. Um, definitely need more bug um, costumes. So I hope that this means that we, you know, will potentially get a whole bunch of new bug costumes. All right, one for the dog, Lego dog people, Lego dog fans. We have. The ultra adorable pug costume suit guy. You can see he has a dual sided face as well. Oh, that is so cute. It's got his tongue sticking out just like a dog. Alright, here's a look at the ultra adorable new pug helmet. It's got a cute little bandana as well, which I like. Oh, and little tippy toes. So cute, and look at that tiny pug tail. Comes with a, what I believe is a new teal bone. Very cool. I think fans who enjoy collecting animal suit minifigures are going to love the pug. I already know a few people that I want to gift the pug suit minifigure to. And... Oh, in a in a in an interesting non repeat, we have another Jaguar Warrior. I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of these because um, really like ancient Aztec, um, Mesoamerican history and figures. Oh, cool! We have our new, totally not Tom Hanks castaway minifigure. He's got the um, caveman hairpiece, and he's got you know lots of facial hair here, lots of stubble growing, and you can see oh no dual sided head. Um, you can see his body. He's got a cool little seashell uh, necklace on it. Some scuffs, I guess, living on an island alone. It's pretty rough, and I like the tat 
his tattered pants here. Put it on, and he comes with a bottle. Ooh, just notice he has a anchor tattoo on his arm, nothing on the other arm. He has a bottle with a, uh, a letter, a message, letter, uh, message in a bottle. Um, a nice little note printed on the side there, which is a nice touch. And not forgetting the new hermit crab piece. So you put a stud through his butt here. And it gets topped off with a white uh, poo piece. And that's how you assemble the cute new hermit crab. Oh, look at the details. I really like the details. Um, they managed to mold his... Um, pincers and claws and those beady eyes very cool I love this new hermit crab piece very cute all right let's tidy it up a bit and here we go another jaguar warrior our third and final one Here you go, very cool. And also our third and final Centaur Warrior. I hope with Lego mass producing these Centaurs, um, it hints at a return to castle or medieval fantasy type builds. I would love to see a new revamped castle team. Here you go. Ooh, we have a new character. Alright, we have, not 100% sure what this is, I think it is a, I think she is a Fiesta. Ooh, how do you put this on? Oh, it goes in her legs, not her neck. It's like a Fiesta dancer, I've heard some people say that it could be a drag queen, um, I think both uh, pretty valid, but the ornate headdress um, certainly feels like a fiesta dancer. For her, you gotta assemble a mic stand. And here you go. Um, I love that headpiece. It is so, so detailed. She has very cool prints on her dress uh, body as well. Look at it shimmer in the light on the back. Oh, shame about the mist, the, the dark coloring for her back that doesn't obviously match up with her skin tone and she has a very shiny skirt and this is her singing face which she can sing into the mic. Very cool. And you get a bunch of uh, Get an extra microphone as well. Very cool. And we have our third, no, second cast away, totally not Tom Hanks minifigure. Would have been nice if they had included two hermit crabs, but you know what? Beggars can't be chooses. You do get an extra white poo piece as well, which is decent. Let's pop it in there. And the repeats continue with our second Fiesta minifigure. Getting. 
a shimmery skirt and you of course have to assemble the microphone stand I wish they went a bit I wish they would have gone a bit crazier with the makeup she obviously has some you know bright eyeshadow but and ooh, look at that shimmer on her lipstick obviously I think they could have gone a, a, a bit crazier but not too bad and our third and final cast away there's it Island Survivor mini figure. I think they, you know, I feel like Lego would have been very tempted to include a volleyball with him, but you know, at the risk of pissing off IP and trademark lawyers and risking a lawsuit, they didn't. And up next, we have our third and final. Violin Prodigy Blacktron fan Here you go And we also get our third and final Airplane Girl minifigure you know what would have been a cool additional accessory for her? I feel like if they had included a paper airplane as a accessory that she could hold, that would be really, really cool. But I guess all the plastic used for that red plane um, has eaten up their quota. And we are almost finished with the box. We have a ladybug suit minifigure with her army, well not army, but cute little ladybugs. What bug minifigures would we want next? Like a grasshopper? We already have like a spider, so this joins the spider. Lastly we have another pug. This pug is so cute. Look at that face. How could you not fall in love with that face? Here you go. Our third and final ladybug suit mini figure. Left her headgear. That is so cool. Those wings are very cool and I look forward to seeing them use this for other minifigures. And last but not least, we have our Carnival Performer.
And there we go, this is the complete contents of a Series 21 minifigure box. As you can see, you get three of each character, so you get three complete sets, which I think is pretty genius. There are no, you know, pseudo-rare minifigures and you just get one of each. Um, although I think um, out of Series 21, there's, you know, some definite winners here. I think the um, Lady... Ladybug suit, the Jaguar warrior, obviously the pug, the pug suit guy, um, and the beekeeper are going to be very, very popular, as well as the centaur warrior. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching me open an entire box of Series 21. If you enjoy more videos like this, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, again, special thanks to LEGO Certified Stores ANZ for providing um, this box to review. If you follow me on Instagram at jeong28, I'll be running a giveaway for these uh, in the coming days. And once I get back from holiday, I will also be doing an in-depth review of the entire set of 12 minifigures. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.